Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back again with my little gradient prints from the A10M printer. Friends, I asked you about why the gradients were not sticking when I entered the controller, and you guys gave me great tips, and one user even showed me a way that I'd never have to do it via the controller again. So let's get cracking. All right, so real quickly, let's scroll down, and the user that is helping me out so much is 1Z Radio. And if you look up here in the corner, I'll give you a link to his channel. And the command we're using is M166. It is a single line that you put in your printer config, and boom, you get a gradient instantly. So let me show you how to put it together. Right here we are in Cura, and let's find our part that we want to do multicult. I am going to choose the file called the HL Happy Crab. And if we zoom in on it, it is just a happy crab, but I've put HL Mod Tech on the bottom of it, so it's kind of branded. To make our gradient most awesome, we need to know how tall the item is. So let's click on the second choice, and it says 7.99 or 8 millimeters. Now we can set the gradient by going to the printer and managing the printer. Find your A10M, and you can have more than one A10M, so this way you could have one profile that was always set to be your gradient one. When you enter it, choose Machine Settings, and then they never show you all of your code, so stretch that out. You can see I've got all my start code, and this is where I put in my virtual extruders, and then the new command that I've added is the M166. These parts are super simple. S1 is Enable. A is your starting height in millimeters, Z is your ending height in millimeters, I is the starting V tool, and J is the ending V tool. So I'm using the stock tools that it comes with, zero and one. And then I'm gonna change that height to two for where it starts doing the gradient. And then remember we were almost eight millimeters, so I'm gonna stop at six. So that way on both sides, there's two millimeters of the solid color. And that's all there is to it. When you hit close, it'll slice. Once it's done slicing, you can save it to removable or send it to your printer. I want to save it to a removable disk, but I want to make sure I know I've got that gradient saved. So I'm going to do a new, uh, I'm going to do a new way to name this. I'm going to call it A10M, but I'm also going to put Shift G so I know it's a gradient. <laughs> but I'm also going to put a Shift G so I know it's got the gradient stored in it. Alrighty friends, so let's save it to that removable disk and go give it a print. Alright friends, here we go, easy peasy mode, power it on, print, let's go down and find those ones with a G on them, there's the G for the happy crab, and boom, let's start that print. Notice nothing preheated, says 100 zero uh, for the mix, but let's see what we get in the time lapse. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, A10M gradient prints without me doing anything after I hit the printer and tell it to go. Uh, so slick, I don't have to wait, I can't forget, it's all baked into the SD card now using that M166 command that was shared by user 1Z Radio. Thank you very much for that. Once again, don't forget to look for the little link so you can check out his channel as well. Friends, if you found the video useful, make sure you hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.